somebody's always asking us, you know, how can they see more of our evidence and how can they see more of our videos from calls. New equipment for Northport police that could make them more transparent. Plus, Sarasota police have had that same equipment for three years but haven't used it. Why they say they probably never will. Your Suncoast News starts now. You're watching ABC 7 News at 6. Good evening, I'm Erica Jackson. And I'm Scott Dennis. Thanks for being with us tonight. Jacqueline has the evening off. Many police departments across the nation and here on the Sun Coast are working to increase transparency with the public. And today, Northport Police Department is taking a big step forward in doing just that. ABC 7's Rebecca Fernandez joins us live now from Northport with the new equipment that they may be using in the future. Rebecca. Scott Erica, will police say a new era has started here? Well, at least for now, as the Northport Police Department begins testing out body cameras. Our agency is doing a lot that other agencies aren't. For the next 30 days, selected officers will start training on how to use these new body cameras and evaluate how the high definition video and audio footage they capture helps push the department in the right direction. You know, with certain laws and public records laws and privacy issues, there are some of those concerns um, that you know, they're going to be on a case by case basis and I'm sure there's going to be challenges um, as there are going right now um, with with body worn cameras footage. And that's why this is only a month long trial. The cameras will be rolling while officers are on duty and then all the contents will be downloaded to the Northport Police database when they return back to the station in a time stamped secure server. A lot more transparency for the citizens. Um, that's definitely one thing they want to see. You know, um, the public is always asking us you know, how can they see more of our evidence and how can they see more of our videos from calls so they can get a little more insight on what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. These cameras would cost Northport close to $230,000 a year, but the police department says this new equipment is necessary to protect and serve the public. The overall value of the body-worn cameras and capturing um, what is occurring from beginning to end um, is, is, is priceless. After this 30 day trial, the police department will be sending their evaluations to the city commissioners and then they will decide if they will approve for all state officers to have these body cameras. Live in Northport, Rebecca Fernandez, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. Back to you guys. All right, Rebecca, thank you. And Axon is the company that makes these body cameras. They have lent the devices to the department for free for this 30 day trial. Meanwhile, the Sarasota Police Department have had dozens of body cameras waiting to be used for several years now, but the City Commission prevented the department from using them. Now the police chief says those cameras are outdated and no longer usable. Back in 2015, Sarasota Police received 24 cameras through a federal grant. But after a brief test period, a Sarasota resident threatened to sue if he wasn't given access to all of the recordings. Once the city paid to have their test recordings censored to protect privacy, Commissioners then decided to wait for direction from the state on some sort of body camera policy. And now, three years later, the police chief says the $36,000 worth of cameras are outdated and they'd need new ones. Chief of Police Bernadette Tapino says she likes body cameras. She thinks they help clear up he said, she said disputes, but now it's up to the commission to buy new ones. The mayor says she likes the concept of body cameras. I think overall it's a good thing for them to have it. I think it provides some evidence of what's going on no matter, you know, whether you're looking at the person being arrested or the police officer. I think it benefits both. But it won't be easy. Police need to buy new cameras, negotiate with the police union, then train officers. Sarasota police investigating reports of shots fired last night near the Sarasota Kennel Club. Police got a call at around 11 o'clock last night about several gunshots heard coming from a home that was less than two blocks away from the dog track. They say when they got there, they found several empty casings in the street. One person was inside the home but, and was not hit, but police say they did not cooperate with their investigation. In a three day operation, deputies caught and arrested 15 people in Sarasota County. The operation targeted retail theft, but one woman included was the fifth in the 15 was arrested after deputies say she stole another woman's credit card and began to make purchases. 
Deputies say the other items stolen varied as well as the stores they were stolen from. Several of the thefts happened at this Walmart and Home Depot on Cattleman Road. The Sarasota County Sheriff's Office is using this sting as a reminder to remain vigilant as you shop. You know, I see it all the time when I'm off duty. I, I'm in a store, I see someone shopping and I see their purse and then they're 10, 15 feet away with their purse sitting in the cart and their backs towards the cart. It only takes that, that second or two for someone to grab that purse. Deputies also say to make sure you're always aware of your surroundings, looking out for someone who may be looking to target you. And don't forget, lock your cars and hide any valuables as you shop, especially around the holiday season. You don't want to become a victim of theft. Not at all. I mean, use the trunk or the back of the car, cover it up what you, you've already purchased, and you know, don't give them a reason to break into your car. Exactly. Yeah, don't become a victim. Thing. You can avoid it. All right, let's get a check on our weather this Tuesday evening with Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan. Hi, Bob. Good evening, Scott and Erica. Good evening, everyone. We had a uh, kind of a cloudy day, some showers occasionally associated with the front that's moved on through now. And a cooler weather is on the way. Low temperatures will be uh, almost 10 degrees cooler tomorrow morning than they were this morning across the region. Beautiful sunset tonight. Nice, beautiful pink colors there. And we saw a nice roll cloud move on through. We'll have some photos here in a minute. Current conditions, we have... Just a few clouds around. Temperatures drop pretty quickly, 72 degrees now. Winds are out of the north at 9, and the dew point is at 65. That number continues to drop. That front, uh, the showers associated with it anyway, are well to the south and east of us now. No rain anticipated uh, through our overnight hours. We'll stay dry, and I don't think we'll see the fog problem like we had this morning across the area due to the fact that the dew point temperatures will be dropping uh, more so uh, than the actual temperatures, and we'll have a bit of a wind too, so that should mix anything up if it tries to develop. High pressure now dominating the weather over the southeast and that's bringing us that north wind. This will be a slow moving high and that north wind will stay with us throughout the day tomorrow. Highs tomorrow will only be into the mid 70s. Uh, right now those winds are starting to pick up out of the north and northwest a little stronger out in Anna Maria. The front not clearing Charlotte County quite yet, but uh, we'll do so in the next half hour or so and we'll look for the uh, cooler and drier air to settle in. Looks like through Thanksgiving. More in our forecast in a few. Scott. All right, Bob, thank you. After having to wait an extra two weeks, two Sarasota County commissioners were finally sworn into office today. Due to the midterm recounts across the state, Christian Ziegler and Alan Mayo had to hold off on their swearing in ceremonies. This is Mayo's second term on the commission. Ziegler represents District 2 and is a newcomer to the board. Republican State Senator Bill Galvano from Bradenton and GOP Representative Joe Jose Oliva were formally elected today to serve as Senate President and House Speaker for the next two years. Galvano and Oliva had long been positioned to move into the roles, with Tuesday's election coming during an organization session of the le legislature. Republicans hold a 73 to 47 advantage in the House and outnumber Democrats 23 to 17 in the Senate. If we're truly committed to raising wages, we must challenge the endless taking in taxes and fees, surcharges, assessments, and the like. If you want people to have more, you must begin by taking less. The regular legislative session will begin on March 5th. And after a fierce election cycle that resulted in three statewide recounts, the Florida Elections Canvassing Commission quickly certified the results of the November 6 elections. The commission, made up of Attorney General Pam Bondi, Agriculture Commissioner Adam Putnam, and Republican State Senator Rob Bradley certified the results without any discussion. Typically, Governor Rick Scott serves on that commission, but he recused himself because of his U.S. Senate campaign. Bradley was appointed to fill the third slot on the commission. We need to make sure that uh, all 67 supervisors are doing their job. Uh, and in two of those counties, uh, Broward and Palm Beach, and I think in Hillsborough a little bit as well, uh, I don't think they lived up to that standard, and the voters need to uh, take note of that in those particular places. The certification came two days after the end of the manual recounts for the U.S. Senate and Agriculture Commissioner races. Still to come in your Suncoast News tonight, a follow-up on the dozens of students who were taken to the hospital after a mysterious illness broke out at a South Florida high school. And a recall notice you need to know as the biggest food holidays approach. Dear parents, it's time for a pop quiz. What's the best kind of play for kids? Play that makes us think? Or helps us pretend? Or teaches us rules? Or to be creative? Actually, every kind of play is important because different kinds of play 
give us different kinds of skills. Help us mix up the ways we play. Okay, class dismissed. Now go play. Over 3,000 new vehicles, over 1,000 used vehicles on clearance right now at Gettle.com. And Gettle Pre-Owned Certified Plus means buying with peace of mind. Get credit help, fast cash for your car, and year-end clearance prices right now at a Gettle dealership near you. Gettle's got it. At Gettle.com. Christmas Tradition by Lux Art Silks, where more is merrier. Make your holidays sparkle with style. Browse our amazing showroom, cute collectible cottages, and beautiful Christmas displays. Find the inspiration, selection, and quality you need to deck the halls merry and bright. Christmas Traditions also features the area's largest selection of quality pre-lit Christmas trees. Every size, shape, and color, and plenty of decorations to make your home shine for the holidays. Christmas Traditions by Lux Art Silks, where more is merrier. Visit us on New 301, just a quarter mile north of University Parkway. Get more for your money during the Subaru Share the Love event at Sunset Subaru. Subaru vehicles hold their value better than any other brand for 2018, according to ALG. And Subaru is Kelly Blue Book's most trusted brand for four years running. The Subaru Impreza is an IIHS top safety pick for 11 years running. Now, lease a new Subaru Impreza for just $145 a month or get 0% financing with zero down. Get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. According to a new survey by U.S. News & World Report, three of Alabama's top four hotels and resorts are part of the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail Resort Collection. The Grand Hotel Marriott Resort in Point Clear, the Battle House Renaissance Mobile Hotel & Spa, and the Renaissance Birmingham Ross Bridge Golf Resort & Spa. Hey, we didn't invent Southern hospitality, we just offer more of it. Visit rtjgolf.com resorts to find out more. Next Friday is the last day to pay property taxes with a major discount in Sarasota County. And the Sarasota County Tax Collector's Office is offering four easy ways for you to do it. To get a 4% discount on your property taxes, you won't have to get out of your car if you use their 24-hour drop box in any of their three locations. You can also go online to their website by midnight on November 30th or mail it to their office. An update tonight on a mystery illness that sent 27 people from a high school to a South Florida hospital. So far, investigators have ruled out drugs, gas leaks, and they don't believe this was a prank. 26 students and one adult were inside the same gymnasium for a prayer service at Fort Lauderdale High School. Kids like passed out and they weren't feeling well. At this time, we we have no. Uh, no real idea on what it was. Uh, we've searched back and forth. We've done three different samplings. Uh, we've used our monitors and uh, have come up with nothing. Everyone taken to the hospital was in stable condition and most have been released. The CDC has warned U.S. and Canadian consumers not to eat romaine lettuce. 32 people in 11 states were infected with a strain of E. coli. 13 people were hospitalized, including one person who developed kidney failure. The agency said that no deaths have been reported. Coming up tonight on ABC 7 News at 11, Rick Adams will speak to local produce distributors about what they plan to do about this problem. No problem for me. I'm not a big romaine lettuce fan. Yeah, so some of the kids, I'm thinking, hey, mom, I don't want to yeah, eat lettuce tonight. Yeah, this is my yeah. excuse. Yeah, exactly. Sound good for you, though. It's, it's uh, healthy, right? Uh, we are what looking at the, yeah. that's what they say. We are looking at the, some uh, nice pictures sent in, all sorts of photos. This one was sunset. Susanna, Suzanne Krebs sending this in from Venice, and just gorgeous colors out there. Just enough clouds to light up the sky, and this was an amazing shot. 
of a roll cloud, the leading edge of the cold front. Dave Wimberly getting this one from Nokomis and this one from Guy Spencer. Uh, just an elongated cloud. Looks like a roll cloud. It looks like a rolling uh, cloud moving on through. Carl Gates getting that one. Well, cooler overnight because of that cold front. We're talking temperatures about 10 degrees cooler than they were this morning. We'll have a nice Thanksgiving. Temperatures in the mid 70s. There should be plenty of sunshine around, maybe a few clouds in the afternoon. And then another system moves in. So we're in this progressive pattern that every few days a uh, chance for some showers or a front moves on through late uh, Saturday. looks like the best timing of showers and uh, mainly showers. Doesn't appear that we'll see any uh, thunderstorms at this time. Temperatures are already starting to cool. 55 in Pensacola in the Panhandle there at 66 in Tallahassee. 81 in Key West now. Temperatures starting to drop in Bradenton and Cortez and Sarasota. Low 70s there. Still mid 70s in Arcadia, Wachula and in the Sebring. Lows tonight will be in the low to mid 60s. To start things off on Wednesday, look for 59 in Northport, 61 at Lakewood Ranch, 61 in Parish, and 64 Anna Maria L Lombo Key right around 64 too and temperatures into the mid to upper 50s well inland. The winds will be brisk and so I don't think we'll see the fog problem like we saw this morning. They'll be out of the north and basically throughout the day that will allow temperatures only to warm to around 75 76 degrees mainly inland along the beaches maybe a tad warmer but uh, for the most part the rain is uh, for the most part gone. There's a chance for a sprinkle here or there. You can see from the radar imagery not showing much here uh, going on across the Sun Coast and we had some uh, pretty heavy rain earlier that has since moved on some snow falling still over the Northeast and this is the area to watch for some delays Wednesday, uh, mainly afternoon and evening as another clipper system moves in. But elsewhere across most of the US, things are pretty quiet for travelers as far as air travel goes. And you can see uh, the GO 16 satellite imagery showing that leading edge of clouds slipping to the southeast and the cooler and drier air filtering in behind it. And that's what the uh, future cast is showing. Lots of sunshine for us on Wednesday. Even into Thanksgiving, things will see uh, stay uh, pretty nice. As I mentioned, just a few clouds coming back later on in the day. Temperatures will stay slightly below average. While that snowstorm tomorrow will be a problem for New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, up to Maine and Connecticut, Rhode Island. Uh, get some snow out of that by uh, Thanksgiving, though. High pressure will dominate the weather all across the eastern two thirds of the nation with fair skies, but it's going to be extremely cold over the northeast. Uh, so if you're heading up that way, make sure you bundle up and then mainly rainfall on Saturday. So return flights could be a little bit dicey over the northeast and then a major storm starts to take shape over the central US and then pushes off through the Great Lakes on into Tuesday of next week. For us, a chance for showers and much cooler air moves in on Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Right now it's 72 and winds are out of the north at nine. The high today did manage to get to 81 degrees today. We'll be uh, slightly below this number, I think, in most areas uh, tomorrow. Temperatures currently in the teens. That's that Arctic air in Montreal and Ottawa now, Toronto at 27, Pittsburgh 33. A bit warmer as you head out west into Denver and Omaha now at 39 degrees. For boaters tomorrow, winds will be 5 to 10 knots to start the day off out of the north. They'll pick up a little bit in the afternoon. Seas running right around 2 feet with a moderate chop. Now the seven day forecast calls for delightful weather Wednesday and Thursday. Thanksgiving 76 for your high sunshine. A few clouds in the afternoon. Friday looks good 79 and then a chance for showers comes into play late Saturday and into Saturday night and Sunday morning uh, temperatures into the upper 70s basically on Sunday and Monday. Scott. Thank you, Bob. A follow up tonight on the Englewood Water Fest. After a weekend of powerboat racing, 49 race teams heading home this week after competing in the Offshore Powerboat Association World Championships in Englewood. Miss Geico kept its world champion title in the extreme class competition. They're still crunching the numbers, but officials believe Waterfest met its $50,000 revenue goal. Nine Englewood area charities will now benefit from those profits. Nine out of the 22 parks in Venice have been assigned as a part of the Adopt a Park program. 13 parks remain, but city officials are hopeful. The program is for interested volunteer groups, schools and businesses who want to help beautify its parks by volunteering to pick up trash and litter, cleaning the park amenities and other small maintenance tasks. Interested participants commit to their park for one year and get a sign in their honor posted at the park. All Face Food Bank handing out thousands of Thanksgiving meals this week to local families in need. Volunteers distributing 2,000 meals today alone at the Sarasota County Fairgrounds. All Face CEO says the effort would not be possible without funding from the Community Foundation of Sarasota and the efficient team of volunteers. It's an absolutely humbling experience to know that 
the All Faiths Food Bank and its volunteers and everyone who supports the food bank is making this Thanksgiving possible for so many families in need. All Faiths distributed more than 10 million pounds of food last year and they expect to beat that number by the end of this year. Santa and Mrs. Claus will be visiting four banks on the Sun Coast this year to take free pictures with families, two of them in Sarasota and two in Port Charlotte. The cheerful couple will be at the Punta Gorda branch of the Charlotte State Bank and Trust next Friday, and they'll make another trip down from the North Pole the Friday after that at the North Port office. No appointment is necessary and treats will be provided for kids. They look good. I'm excited. Yeah. Stay with us when we come back. We'll show you how you can score free Barry Manilow tickets and give back to a good cause at the same time. Coming up, snow, ice, fog, and the Arctic blast. Just as millions now travel, the urgent manhunt right now, the woman killed inside a Catholic supply store. And the major warning tonight about something that might be in the holiday dinner. They say do not eat it. We're next. Picking out a new ceiling fan? Yeah. That's a do-it-yourself. Installing your new ceiling fan? No. That's a don't do it yourself. For ceiling fans, rewires, or anything electrical, play it safe. And call on the trained electricians from your locally owned Mr. Sparky. It's no accident that so many of our customers are repeat customers. Thank you. you Trust Mr. Sparky for all your electrical repairs. Call 888-8-SPARKY. It's a brand given life by craftsmen with seductive Italian styling. The Alfa Romeo Giulia, Stelvio. Get yours at Sunset Maserati, Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. From the moment she walked in the door, we stopped having to go to the pharmacy. Certain prescriptions, um, my health plan or the pharmacy, I wasn't even able to get here. And hospice provided them and all we had to do was call up, and um, the next thing they know, there, there was another, you know, a delivery. This is an important message for anyone with Medicare. You may be eligible for an all-in-one Medicare plan that combines hospital, medical, and prescription drug coverage together with extra benefits that may include dental, vision, hearing aids, and much more. Some of these plans have a $0 monthly premium regardless of your income. That's right. For one low plan premium, or in some cases a $0 premium, you may be able to get coverage for your hospital visits, doctor appointments, prescription drugs, routine dental care, eyeglasses and contact lenses, hearing aids, and possibly more. Today may be the first time you've heard about this type of Medicare plan. The advisors at the Medicare.com helpline are licensed insurance agents who will explain more when you call. Call now to see if you qualify. Call the number on your screen now. Call now to see if you qualify for these benefits. You worked hard for your Medicare. Now is the time for your Medicare to work hard for you. Not affiliated with or acting on behalf of any government agency or program. Accolades are great. Just wait until you see our prices. Rugs as Art, Sarasota's only area rug superstore. Selfless service is the guiding principle of every Army National Guard soldier. They have a stake in the well-being of the neighborhoods where they live and work. To be an Army National Guard soldier is to serve something greater than yourself. Learn more at NationalGuard.com. Experience true automotive luxury at Sunset Maserati, Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. I'll be right back.
Manilo is donating a piano to kick off an instrument drive in Tampa. The music icon is hoping others will follow his in his philanthropic footsteps as he brings his charity, the Manilo Music Project, to a performing arts school in Clearwater. Those who donate a new or gently used musical instrument will receive two complimentary tickets to A Very Berry Christmas at the Amelie Arena on Friday, December 7th. Collected instruments will be distributed to local students and schools in need throughout the outreach efforts of the Marsha P. Hoffman School of the Arts at Ruth Eckert Hall. You know, it's near and dear to your heart. You played an instrument. What about you, Bob? Sing, choir, that's about it. But he looks good, you know. Uh, yeah. yeah. What's Barry? your favorite uh, Barry Manilow song? I, I was just trying to think. Of, I, I, I can't remember. I'm getting too old, I think. Copacabana? Copa, Copacabana. Copacabana. Yeah. Yeah. I know it. The hottest spot north of Havana. <laughs> He's kind of a little timer for you. I think, I think that my mom took, him, took me to a Barry Manilow concert really? when I was little, but obviously I don't it recall. Stick, yeah. It didn't stick. Yeah. So, it's okay. He's pretty cool. Sorry. World News Tonight with David Muir is next. And we'll see you again at 11.